I'm Greg, a sailor, bagpiper, and all-around jack-of-all-trades, back in the basement, down in the shop. I have been, it's a rainy day outside, uh, so I thought, well, there's not much I can do, and yeah, there is. I had taken the sliding hatch, the fiberglass cover for the hatch, and then the forward hatch off of the boat. Here they are down here. Here is the forward hatch. There's the sliding hatch, and then this one is actually the cover. Um, and so I thought, I'm going to be priming and painting the boat. Here is my topside primer. And I thought, you know what? I can start playing with that down here and see how it goes. The primer and then the finished coat. And then I also have to do the bright work for my Marshall 15. So there is the boom crutch the tiller and the oar, and I turned the heat on down here. And with the heat on, um, it's dry enough to do bright work. Now, this forward hatch, you can see the holes here and the holes here. These were the hinges. So there's one hinge, there's the other hinge. One must have broken, they changed and mismatched them. This is the bracket that's uh, the support, so when you open the hatch you can dog it down and, and keep the hatch open. Um, so that's in need of replacement. And then this little piece of teak that I'd forgotten about was on the leading edge of this. Now, shame on me, I didn't film this, but I lightly cleaned this all up, lightly sanded it, and put one coat of the primer on, just to see how the primer worked. I rolled it, and I rolled and tipped this. I did not tip this, and you can see, maybe you can see, it's just a little bit of, not orange peel, but still just a little bit of the roller texture. This doesn't have any roller texture on it, and it looks much better. So I think I will be rolling and tipping everything. Uh, but before I sand this cover, you can see all the crazing and cracking here. Um, I mean, because this has been exposed to the elements all the time. When this is opened, it slides underneath this one so it's somewhat protected. But you can see all the crazing and cracking. Um, this really, you know, is going to need to be sanded and cleaned up and primed and painted. Absolutely. And then this one here, well, yeah, it definitely needs a little bit of work. But it occurred to me that there are multiple holes from where the hinges were and were broken and replaced and mucked around. I don't know what the heck they did. So my feeling is I'm going to put a backing behind this, fill all of these holes with, a, with thickened epoxy, um, and then I'm going to sand and paint, sand and paint that. Ultimately, there's going to be two coats of primer on everything, so that one's already got one, so I can leave that for now. But I'm going to have to sand this one, repair this and sand this, and then prime and paint all three of these. And it's going to be raining well, the forecast says we're going to get rain for the next four days, so I'm not going to be doing anything outside on the boat, but I can get these components done right now. So while the varnish is curing, um, I can't do any more painting down here or any more sanding down here. But what I can do is mix up the epoxy and fix these hinge holes and then sand and paint. They'll look beautiful when I get it back on the boat. Um, then I'll be able to decide exactly where the hinges are going to go and then redrill the holes and put the new hinges on. So that's my plan right now is to just mix up some epoxy and fill these holes in. And one of the things I did do was I got my drill and a drill bit and some of these holes had been filled in with caulking. Um, there was caulking on the surface. Um, they just, you know, so I took my drill and I drilled out every single hole there was. One to get nice clean, a clean surface free of dust and debris, and then also to make it a little bit 
Well, to make it clean and dust free so that the epoxy has something good and solid to adhere to. <clears throat> so anyway, that's what I've done. And that's what I'm going to do. Now I've got to put backing material behind here. Um, I did... Now I've got to put this away so it doesn't just fall off the bench because I'm done with that now. Let me put the drill away, then we'll come back. Okay, so now I'm not going to risk dropping my drill. Um, it still feels like there's a little bit of leftover caulking. Feels a little bit sticky. find the end of the tape. Obviously it wasn't me that put this away because whenever I put tape away I always fold it over to make it easier to find the end again. All right, there we go. So I sanded the inside just a little bit to clean up the surface and then wiped it down with thinner. Now I put tape back here as a backer. And now I can pour in the epoxy in here and it won't just run right through. So, I'm going to mix up a little epoxy, and then we'll come back. So when I'm mixing up small batches, I don't like to use the pump, because that just pumps out too much material. So I have to weigh my cup. Looks like the cup's about five and three quarters. <coughs> so, one to five. So if I go up to six and three quarters, now I can put in the catalyst, okay, and then six and three quarters plus five brings me to eleven and three quarters, so that's ten and one and three quarters. As I'm pumping, I just watch the triple beam balance to see when it starts to move. And then I come off the pump, and I can give it another drop or two. And that looks good. So, I don't think that's quite enough. So let's go another one gram of catalyst. And from five, uh, two and a three quarters to seven and three quarters. Perfect. Okay. And that should be enough. Now I'm using the colloidal silica adhesive filler. So this is not a fairing compound. The silica is um, a, a binding agent, a thickening agent that has got a lot more strength to it. But you can still make it, you know, sort of the same peanut butter-like consistency. Um, 
and that's where we are right now. So now we can start putting this in. Trying to push it down into the holes because we don't want you know big air pockets down underneath and I don't mind leaving it a little proud because then <clears throat> I'm gonna be sanding this all down anyway and I do see a couple of little nicks on the bottom edge fill those right now and here we go all the nicks and dings most of them taken care of there's another one <clears throat> Surprised there are all these nicks on the back edge where the hinge is. You'd expect all the nicks and dings to be on the front edge. But it is what it is. Ooh. Bottom of the cup's getting a little bit warm. So this is definitely kicking already. Leave that there. So when I come back, we'll test it, make sure that's kicked. That'll kick f first, but as long as I know it's kicked, I know my proportions were correct. So we're good to go now. You may have noticed some sound issues in the last couple of videos. Um, it's because I can't find my remote wireless microphone transmitter. I have the receiver that's attached to the GoPro. I have a wireless body pack that clips onto my belt and a micro, uh, little lav mic that clips onto my collar. I think it's out in the boat. I've checked down in the bit in my office area where I do all my editing and, and recharge all my cameras and things. I've checked out here in the shop, actually cleaned the shop all up, um, although you wouldn't know it now, but um, all the wood from the boat cover is now you know neatly stacked up and put away there i went through this bench and cleaned this all off and now that's just the remaining pieces of bright work that need to go back on the boat after the boat's been painted this bench everything is staged to put the benches back together again i've got to rebuild the um winches and i am working on a shopping list right now components and things that I need Y valve for the head hose clamps bilge pump winch grease and cleaner I need to replace the block for the out haul I noticed that on the boom um, I suddenly was like oh man that's broken and doesn't turn very well so I need to replace that um, this is the new topping lift for the top of the mast. Um, so that one's in good shape, and I just bought that. So I'm going to buy another one of those for the outhaul. Um, anyway, what I was getting at was that since I don't have my wireless camera and I'm using the GoPro camera, when I turn around to film, I think the microphone is facing away from me when I'm talking, so volume's been going up and down. Sorry. I'll have to find my wireless mic and when I get that then we'll be back in you know good shape replace all the batteries and make sure everything's working properly so we're good for now um, tomorrow's uh, another work day maybe Tuesday afternoon I'll be able to come back down here and sand this um, thickened var uh, epoxy and the filler and, and get all this ready and then we can put another coat you know a primer coat on all three of these hatches and then put the second primer coat on and then the finished paint and see how it all looks. I'm hoping it comes out really well because that's the beginning for what the boat's going to look like. Anyway, enough talking. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you uh, for watching SV Slow Air. Please hit the like button, um, subscribe to get notifications when next videos are coming out, and we'll see you the next time around.